everyone, Mr. Strauss here. Today we're going to learn about the bass clef. Let's get started. So if you're a bass clef instrument, you're going to either play bassoon, euphonium, trombone, or tuba, and sometimes marimba. So here we go. We're going to go through all of the different notes. Many of our teachers started us off learning this. G, B, D, F, and A on the lines, and then A, C, E, and G. Okay, and so a lot of times that came down to good burritos don't fall apart and all cows eat grass. And those have been our standbys for many, many years. And if they help you, certainly keep on using them. Now, let's continue and show you a different way. If we remember that G is always the bottom line, always and forever, we can go G and then go up the musical alphabet that we learned last week. So, G again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G again, and then A. Notice how we have the two G's and the two A's. That's why it's really important that we teach you the lines and spaces. Because if I say that I want you to play a first space A, you know that it's going to be this one down here. Or if I ask you to play a fourth space G, you know that it's this one up here. Now, we can continue this a little bit, and so we'll show you those. We have the B that goes into that above the staff area, and then we have an F that goes into that below the staff area. But we'll get more into those later. So now we're going to use the musical alphabet to figure out a note. So let's say that our band director gave us a piece of music and that note appeared. And you say, but, but, but Mr. Strauss, I just don't understand. What note is it? Well, this is how we figure it out. We have those GBDF on the, the lines, but what if you can't remember that? We always remember that the bottom line is a G and we can use the musical alphabet to figure it out. So G, A, B, C, and then finally D. So you can use that forwards and you can use that in reverse. Many of you might be using it where it's the F clef and the F is always between these two dots. It will always and forever be there and that will always help you. Let's move on. Now we're going to go through and we're going to quiz you on some notes. So what's this note? That's a G. A. B. Notice you can use the note before to help you out. What note's this? That's a D. Notice we're just climbing right on up. E. F. G. And finally, A. Now we're going to scramble them up. I'll give you a little bit more wait time. There you go, that's a G. C. G. B. G. B, G, 
A, E, G, G, E, D, G, E, B, E, G, E, B, B, G, A, B, C, E, D, A, F, G, and that's all. If you need more practice, you can always go to musictheory.net or do anything that your teacher is asking you to do and practice this every single day. That's the only way that you're going to get better. Many of my students will start off and in three minutes, they'll only be able to get through maybe 10. And then the following week, it's 20. And then I've had some students that are eighth graders now that when I give them a quiz like this, they can do 95 in three minutes. So it just takes time and daily practice. So again, time and daily practice. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.